Hi. What is this? What is going on? I need a haircut. Um, so I want to talk about chapter three today and I want to talk about getting in the zone for writing because it's giving me nightmares and I hate having nightmares, but, um, whenever I'm writing about a certain character, um, I try to like incorporate like something like that reminds me of them. So when I wrote about the character Lauren, um, I have a shirt from her from many, many, many years ago and I, it's really big and so I slept in that for like a week, like, it used to be my favorite shirt, and then it used to give me bad thoughts because I missed her, but anyways, um, and then I had an, a bracelet that the character Emma in the life of Emma and Wedge made me that I was wearing for a while, and now I'm wearing this ring also, and I swear, like, um, when I'm wearing all three or, like, the powers combined, like, it's, like, some type of evil thing, and it gets in my brain, and I have nightmares, and it's fucking terrible sauce, but today, I... You know, I was writing about this moment where it was a moment with um, <clears throat> Taylor and um, this fictional character named Taylor. And, like, I could see it today. Like, that was the time, like, in our lives where everything changed and went to shit and everything. Like, one moment, like, changed everything forever. And I'm not going to say it went to shit, but, like, to specifically be like, oh, uh, like, whatever day, 2006, like, that's the day, like, we began to f get fucked up. Like, uh, it's just so, I wanna go back and strangle my fast self. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? You fucked it with Lauren, you fucked it up with Hannah, and here you got Taylor, okay? There's Taylor, right there. Boom, and I can't really tell you much because I don't wanna ruin, ruin the story for you, but God damn it, you'd think I'd learn my lesson by now. No. No, why would you, why would, why would we do that? Just too damn easy to do that. So it was a very tough chapter because unlike um, Hannah and unlike Lauren, Taylor is somebody that I um, still talk to in this fictional world if I were to. So it's, um, it's hard to go back and see a moment like that. Thank you, Kelly Cook. Fuck my head. So yeah, you know, Lauren's gone. Uh, Lauren's been out of the world of Wedge for many, many years, and um, Hannah definitely. But Taylor. I mean, this is just the <laughs> this, is, this is the fucking beginning. This is just the beginning. <laughs> I already don't want to write anymore. God damn it. So yeah. To be able to see a point like that, like I saw today, it's like just draining and it's emotional and it's like, ugh, fuck, god damn it. So that's all I gotta say. Chapter three will be coming soon if I don't procrastinate. Um, and uh, thanks for all your positive comments from people that I never thought I'd hear from again. <laughs> or even some of my... Yeah, just thank you. Thank you for your words, all of you. You guys are pretty encouraging, and um, I appreciate everybody who actually looks at it, and I also pre appreciate every person that characters may or may not have been based upon because it's you guys that affected my world so much that I felt the need to keep writing. So um, go to wedgeahawks.com, catch up. Hang out. Send me an email. Info at wedgeaholics.com. Tweet me. Instagram me. Just do all that jazz. I love to hear from you. That's all I gotta say. We're done.